Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Summer here to talk about lesson 302, parts of a chemical equation. In this lesson, students will be able to label the parts of a chemical equation, the reactants, products, coefficients, and subscripts. So key parts of a chemical equation are the reactants, the yield sign. So in chemistry, instead of using an equal sign, we use a forward arrow to represent yields. And then to the right of the yield sign are the products. In front of them are coefficients, which represent the number of molecules. The subscripts in a chemical formula are the number of atoms. And we've done a little bit of this in our previous unit of talking about the number of each atom um, when making our Lewis structures. And then the S's or the G's or the L or you, you can also, we'll see an AQ for aqueous, means it was dissolved or dissociated in water. Those are the states of matter. So sometimes you'll see um, chemical equations represented with them, and sometimes you will not. But make sure you're writing this whole diagram in your notes. A chemical reaction is a process in which atoms of one or more substances rearrange to form new substances. So in this example, we have H2O plus H2O rearranging to get H2 plus O2. So atoms rearrange and form new substances. The bonds break and bonds form in a chemical reaction. A chemical equation is a description of a reaction using elements, symbols, and chemical formulas. It's our shorthand way of representing a chemical equation reaction. So remember, scientists are super lazy. They only write what they have to. And if there is a shorthand notation for writing something, you can bet that scientists are going to be using it. In this example, we have C plus O2 yields CO2. And on this side is our reactants. And over here are our products. And in this one, we also have our subscripts. I meant to use a highlighter. Our subscripts in here. We also have coefficients because just like in math, a coefficient, if there is no number written in front of the chemical or in front of the symbol or the um, compound, you are assuming it is one. So in a chemical equation, there are reactants and products. The reactants are the starting substances in a chemical reaction. They are written on the left side of the arrow. Products are the ending substances of a chemical reaction. They are written on the right side of the arrow. The yield sign. So we use the words reacts to form or yields. When I read a chemical equation, I can say, Carbon and oxygen reacts to form carbon dioxide. Or I can say carbon and oxygen yields carbon dioxide. We never say carbon and oxygen equals carbon dioxide. Okay? We always say either reacts to form or yields. So what do the numbers mean? Make sure you're writing this down in your notes. So the coefficients... They tell you the number of molecules there are. They are the things that come in front, just like in math class. The coefficients are the numbers that come in front. And the subscripts tell you the number of atoms of an element in the molecule. The subscripts are specific to the element. The coefficients are applied to the entire molecule. 